a hop, skip and a jump. And we're going over the Bushman's River to get to Kenton on Sea. Uh, it's not even half a kilometer. <laughs> literally across the river, right? Yeah, literally across the river. So yeah, that's where we are headed right now, is to Kenton on Sea. I've always been impressed with the name Kenton on Sea. Okay, we shall try and find what it um, what it refers to. Yes. Okay, so twelve fifty six at the moment. ETA twelve fifty eight. <laughs> yes. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Now I think we're going to get a bird's eye view of the marina. Look at that! Not many boats here. Busy road, I hope we can get off it soon. Yep, I'm sure we will. Kenton on Sea, the barefoot capital. Yes, <laughs> I like the sound of that one. Yes, so yeah. no signal, cell phone signal, <laughs> so I assume there is load shedding in town. That's uh, most probably the issue. Lots of holiday accommodation establishments here, For eh? For sure. This is the Kenton on Sea Primary School. Cool, how cool is that? Dual medium. And the pre primary. <laughs> Do you remember any of your nursery school days? Um, no. I do, mine. I remember two situations. We were icing cakes yes. and we were playing in a sand pit. Those two memories stand out for some reason. You, was, you grew up in a city. I, I didn't. School. You're talking a slim popo. What do you mean? I was on a farm. There was no oh. such thing as a nursery <laughs> <Okay>. school. <laughs> this, is this is the bowling, the bowling club. Bowling club. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Check at this, eh? Gorgeous. Wow. Bowling club, tennis club. Diaz Deep Sea Club. I'm going to go in here. Yes. Very nice facilities. Very nice. Yo. Look at those bowling greens. The Kenton Bowling Club. How's this bowling ball? That's cool. This is where they have their bras functions so that's that's 
Hachi. The two nodes of Dharma. Hachi nodes of Dharma. That one. And then we go back to get. And then we say, our last thing. So this is Green B and it's called Arthur Walters B Green. And the one on the other side there is called Ken Pike C Green. Yeah, these greens are incredible. And this is St. Clair Park and A Green. And the other tennis courts. Everything's in such good nick, it's fantastic to see. Kenton Tennis Club Look how many courts there are, incredible KTC It's very neat, yeah eh? Whoa. Yeah, this is a nice facility, one can see that. Interesting, I spoke to one of the gentlemen, yeah? Yeah. And he says there's a lot of retired farmers here, from the whole oh, district. okay. From Adelaide and Ribiak East and all those places, even Kharib Dam, they've come to retire over here. Oh, I can't blame them, it's such a beautiful area. No, it is a beautiful area. So the official name is Kenton on Sea, but I hear you call it Kenton? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I call it, that's what they call it, Kenton, but it's the official name is Kenton. Okay. Say, yeah. And predominantly English, I hear. Yeah, but there were a few Afrikaans speaking people inside there. So, okay. Yeah. So let's carry on with the road. There's the Kenton Methodist Church. Okay. Your community church. You deciding to drive up? Yes, I see these tracks over here, so I'm driving right to the bell. <laughs> Very cool. I yeah. can't spot a cornerstone. cornerstone. No. Unless this is something on the no, side here. This will most probably give some information and we're going to have a quick squeeze. In loving memory of Reverend Clarence Thorpe, Tim, 1902 to 1987, from his family. What is this? Check this door. Whew. I wonder if there's a corner stuff. Here it is. To the glory of God, this stone was laid by Reverend Gavin J. Leverton, 
1st of August 1982. Ah, there we go. There's another cornerstone. This stone was laid by Reverend Brian Banwell on the 3rd of January 1965. Okay. Interesting, there's two cornerstones. And there's a separate building on the other side. And that was in 1965. And this church building is 1982. So I think that one at the back must have been the first church building which they used until the congregation expanded. And then they built this one in 82. That's what I think. Okay. 1982 is fairly recent. Yeah, not too long ago. 65 as well. Oh, that's very long ago. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's more than half a century ago. <laughs> so, it is load shedding, but the internet is on and off. Okay. So, I read that there are about 5,000 inhabitants, which is a lot. That's quite a lot. I didn't expect there to be so many. Yeah, no, I'm surprised by that. And did you see while we were sitting there or at the bowling club uh, on our way out, how many people were coming in to play bowls? They all greeted me. Oh. I saw each one of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's it's a, fantastic. It's a big pastime, it looks like. Over here. I think it's such a social sport. Yeah. So... Um, You enjoyed it too. Yes, we used to at work have a few play socially, yeah. Oh. Bowling tournaments. You had great fun. Yeah. Especially afterward. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's like playing golf, but the most fun comes when the game's over. Eh? <laughs> oh, look at that tree! Please look at that tree. What? It's not even possible. It's not even possible. My That's angel. Massive. Okay, this is officially one of the most beautiful trees I've ever this seen. This is incredible. Look at the size of this thing. Oh. Really beautiful. Show. There are no words. I see that house number is 21. It reminds me that it's 22 degrees today. So that's why it's very moderate, eh? 22 is such cool weather to travel in. Yeah, no, it's comfortable. Very comfortable. Check at these trees. Yeah. They are amazing trees here, eh? But that one right there? I'm going back to go through underneath it again. <laughs> you get the size of it more from... Look at these branches, they're almost horizontal. Oh, wild. I wonder how old it is. And that they're just leaving it is the most fantastic yeah, of it all. I would as well. All around it, man. Oh. Glumby Municipal Environmental Conservation. They have a dog control policy. Yep. Do you know what I like? They don't forbid dogs. But you must but be you responsible. Have, but there are, are rules. Yes. Look at this. Wow. Curry. 
Karikha River. So it's between the Bushmans and the Karikha yes. Rivers. This is gorgeous. Yes, sounds like a good spot here. So while we're sitting at this beautiful lagoon, right? Yes. We'll um, be having our very healthy lunch today. Our uh, host last night gave us beautiful fresh oranges, Eastern Cape oranges. Let me tell you, these things smell incredible. Their color is just different from the ones we get. Yeah. So, so I cut them up. Mine has got salt. Okay. Because oranges have to have salt. So In your do opinion, lemons. Yeah. And yours don't. Mine are fresh. So we shall enjoy these now. Let's do that. Charge your devices. Definitely. <laughs> it is a little hotter now that we've sat in the sun for so yes, long. Yes, it is.
sea rescue emergency. You know what? I hear they call this the Valley Bushveld. That on the opposite side? Yes. yes. And they say it's unique to the Eastern Cape. The Valley Bushveld is unique to the Eastern Cape and supports more species of animals, birds and insects per cubic meter than any other. Wow. Over 400 recorded species of birds make this area a birder's paradise. Crazy. That is wild. Yeah. Oh, I see incredible. this is the Kariha main beach. Yes. It's a beautiful beach. Eh? Yeah. Fantastic. Look at the wide um, beach, the wide stretch of yeah. sand. I have to go up Vasco da Gama Drive. That takes me back a little more recent than nursery school. <laughs> I wish I loved history more then than I actually did. Uh, you always loved it. Always loved history. Nice place this too, hey? Very nice. why it's called the Sunshine Coast. No, tell me. It boasts the most sunshine hours in the country. Really? So they don't elaborate and it's hard to believe because it's dark already at six. Yes. But I suppose on average year round, okay. they've got more hours the sun shines here than in any other place in the country. Okay. Surprising though, that, eh? That, that sounds... I'm trying to wrap my brain around that one. I'm reading that on kenton.co.za. So that should be fairly reputable. It should be, eh? I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. And they say this is almost exactly midway between PE and East London. Okay. Middle Beach. Yes, this is Middle Beach. I saw a sign that said Middle Beach Pathway. But you being so secretive. No, I'm just like taking little roads and stuff to find special little places. I just love how much they love nature here. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. Here, yeah, right onto the beach virtually, eh? You can say that. Here. Yeah. I think this may have been the beach at one point. Definitely. Not may have been, I think this Definitely. was the beach. Definitely. Yeah, right? There we are, look at this. Middle mm -hmm. beach. Now you can't get closer to the beach than this. In a car no. than this, right? No way. That's quite special. No, I like it. I like it. Now one of the people just come and sit here, eh? Yeah, anyone can do that here. Yeah. present dunes, eh? Always, and they've got beautiful dunes here. Yeah. 
deketes. <laughs> Incredible. Now this is on the opposite side of by the Bushman's River. Okay. Bushman's Mont. So this is the Bushman's River. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you brought us here. Yeah. Because we were seeing it from the other side. Yes. have a fantastic view. Look at these trees again. Yes. If I have to tell you every tree I I love, I'll be talking all the time. <laughs> exactly. And you about the dunes. Yeah, look at these dunes in front here. <laughs> further now. Uh, not for us at least. No, not for us. Sand and a deep puddle? Yeah, mm -mm. not gonna work. They don't mix in my mind. Not for this little car. So beyond this is what they call Shelly Bay. Okay. And I think they call it Carriage Rock. I remember you saying yeah, that. Carriage Rock. You so say you're not gonna no, ascend to no. that dune? No, not now. The knees are already having a discussion with me. <laughs> Both? Yeah. No, just the one. I wanted to say. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> is this the CPD? This is the business district of Kenton on Sea. Let's check it out. Hard way. It's an active little place. Yeah. They have a lawnmower shop. They need it here. Yep, the filling station. They've got such beautiful gardens. a big business area and yeah like I'm this. surprised too but with 5,000 people if that's accurate they that's need it a nice yeah. big spa Yeah, they're busy. Big tournament it looks like. <laughs> A few more cars have arrived since we were here. Yes, yes. Okay. 
cute little church. Yeah. Looks like a house. What denomination is this? Got no idea. Very neat. Interesting. These people must honestly feel like they're living in a nature reserve. Definitely. <laughs> Hi. I can do that. Yeah. There is a board in the front there. I just want to see if they say what denomination it is. Oh, I missed. Oh, I saw this board. No, yeah. it doesn't. Doesn't it? It say? talks about service times, I uh, think. Okay. Bible yeah. Study. Okay. I was told by some gentleman at the bowls club to come here. He says the views from here are spectacular. So. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Because they've got some pretty good views here. That they do. In this area. Yeah. We've been greeted by a doggy. Stanley's restaurant. Look at this. <sighs> Absolutely stunning. What a view. Sure. Spectacular views. Yeah. Incredible. Now look, the scenery here is every bit as spectacular as you promised me it would be. <laughs> I must be honest. No, it's wild. I just saw a glimpse. Yeah. Did you see the river and ev everything? Yeah. <gasps> I mean, how can they get any work done? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
don't know what more I can say about how beautiful Kenton on Sea is. It's a spectacularly beautiful area. Yeah. One forgets how beautiful the Eastern Cape really is. No, uh, it was so worth it coming to see this place. The dunes, the beaches, the vegetation, everything is just next 